welcome back to this room mail today's video is gonna be a little different I'm gonna be doing this soft glam look for you guys so if you are interested in seeing how I got this together go ahead and stay tuned for the video I already have my face cleansed and moisturized the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to properly moisturize um, underneath my eye, my under eye area. As you guys know, that's probably the thinnest part um, on my face. So I just wanna make sure I get it nice and moisturized because underneath my eye tends to be really dry. And if I go in with just concealer, it's just, it's just, it's just not gonna work out. That's what I'm gonna say. If this is the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. And this is actually, make sure that focuses, there you go. As you guys can see, that is the free sample that we got at Sephora. So I like to make sure that this area is really nice and moisturized. And I have noticed a difference in the way that my concealer comes together at the very end. I've noticed a difference in um, it kind of not creasing as much. So if you're someone that tends to have that problem, try to go in there with something underneath your eyes to really give it a little bit more moisture and that way it can adhere to your skin a little bit better. And now what I'll do is I'm going to prep my skin and I have been trying out this new, well new for me but it's not new on the market. It's the uh, NYX Hydro Touch Oil Primer. It comes just in this little cute little packaging glass jar so if you haven't seen it there you go. And I actually bought this off of Amazon so if you guys are ever looking for good deals sometimes Amazon has them. And if they do, we'll link it down below. And that way you can use the products that I mentioned here. But it works like this. And then I'm just gonna take off the top. It comes like in a dropper, almost like back in back in school when you were doing projects, so it's a little weird. And once you get used to it, it actually works pretty well. The reason I like this is because again, I have dry skin. So I try to make sure that my skin is gonna be nice and prepped and primed because the last thing I want is dedicate so much time to doing this look and then you know an hour or two later all I can see is my makeup slowly just disappearing. But I've done that and has had some time to um, adhere to my skin a little bit better. I'm actually going to go ahead and start off with my foundation. So I'm not using my Makeup Forever stick right now. I'm actually going to go in with the new foundation for me. It has been on the market for a minute. And it is the Maybelline um, 24 hour foundation and this is in the color 128 or warm nude. I'm just gonna show you guys really quick. Good thing about this one is it has a pump. Thank you guys for putting the pump on there. And I'd usually just put it on the back of my hand. If you really wanted to or you were in a hurry, I would probably just put it straight on my face. But for all intents and purposes, I'm just gonna put it on my hand. And you guys have already seen this part of my other video, how I put on my foundation, but we're just gonna go ahead and dot it. And I've noticed this area right here is the area where my foundation kind of comes off towards like the middle of the day. I don't know if anybody else out there has that problem, but I tend to focus more of that color now on this part of my face. Cause I used to focus it more on my cheek just because I have rosacea and I try to cover up that redness, but now I focus it more towards um, kind of where your facial skin meets your ear. And I always try to match it to my neck. I'm not a person that matches my foundation to my face color or my skin tone, I should say. I match it more towards my neck skin tone because that's what it's going to eventually blend into. Now I'll let it stay on my skin just for a little bit. Um, I don't like to go directly into it with a brush or with a sponge just because I feel like a lot of that product that I just laid on there gets taken up by the tool itself. So I like to have it just kind of lay on my skin just for a little bit. This is like the weirdest part for me right here is getting around the nose and then right on top of it. Put a little bit on my nose. Or not a little bit, I put a lot. <laughs> that might have been a little too much, but that's okay. So now that it's laid there, I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And do not judge, I have not cleaned it right now, but I will clean it after I film it. It's really, really good. So I'm gonna go in first where the I first laid that first layer of foundation. I'm going to stipple it on. I'll go ahead and do this little motion that we all see on YouTube, right? I don't like to swirl first. I like to make sure that that product is actually on the skin properly and then I'll blend. Now I'm someone that when I do soft glam, it kind of varies on the day. There's some days that I really just want to go matte. Like I don't want any 
special shine or glittery things going on in my face. And then certain days, I ain't gonna lie to you, I want a little bit of a glowy, glam look. And then a lot of times I try to put it, <laughs> it's gonna sound so weird, but I like to put it in my hairline because sometimes if you don't, it'll rat you out. So we've done that when I go with concealer and I'm using my Fenty Beauty. Let's see what it looks like. Let me see, oh, I'm number 210, if anybody out there is wondering. Put that underneath. My under eyes, I have an under eye circle and then I have under eye discoloration. So I like to put it a little bit around that circle itself. I wonder if I want to, I just pull out a little bit. If you ever notice, I don't really tend to do the whole like big glob of concealer and that's just because, I don't know, I like to, I guess my concept with makeup is going with a little bit first, see how it looks, and then come back later to see if you need more. While I let that kind of adhere a little bit to the under eye area, I'm going to start prepping my lids for the eyeshadow colors. Now I'm using the exact same concealer. Um, I'm a little different than Tanaj. I do not use the MAC Paint Truly Made <laughs> Do you? Use whatever works for you that you found works for you. If you haven't found something that works for you, play around, but start with your concealer first and then go from there. And that way you can kind of test out and see what works for you and what does not. So, now that we kind of dotted it, I'm just gonna go in with finger and just very softly tap it into my eyelid. And I always try to, at least try, right? <laughs> always try, but sometimes I fail. But I like to get this little crevice right in here. If I don't, it's just like this one section that has no product. It just looks beyond weird, so I try to make sure I get that look perfect. Okay, and now that I feel like the concealer has had enough time to kind of adhere to the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and just very softly, softly tap it into my under eye area. So I'll start with like a first layer, and then if I feel like, ooh, you know, it's one of those days where I just look mad tired, then I'll put more on. But if not, I'll just go with this. Now that we've done our concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and set it really quick. Because if I don't, <laughs> it's not ready to go. The great Jackie Ina was the one that taught me this. As soon as she's done uh, putting on her concealer, I mean, it is literally like a ticking bomb, all right? You just gotta make sure that you really get in there. And if you can, pat that concealer in there. Let it know who is boss, okay? Boom, 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 got it. And I'm using just a brush that looks like this. And I will just go in here. And I forgot to mention what powder I'm using. I guess it's because I'm used to it and I say it all the time, but if you're new to the channel, hi! This is our favorite powder. It is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana, and we literally have used it so much, you guys, you can't even see that of it. Same concept, barely touching my skin, just enough to make sure that it's actually gonna stay on there and not go anywhere further. And then anything that I have left over in that little cap that comes with the powder, I'll put it right here. Cause you know, my mustache be sweating. I don't know about nobody else out there. If I don't wanna talk about it, that's fine. But my mustache be sweating. I gotta set it. Finally, the part that everybody's been waiting for <laughs> to 20 million years, right? Uh, we're gonna go with the eyeshadow. So I'm actually going to use a little square on this palette and this is the Violet Boss Best Life Palette, which if you're an OG of our YouTube channel, then you know that I love this palette. The little square that I'm gonna use is right over here. So we're gonna use Paradise, Cocktails, Holiday, Summertime, and a little bit of Sunsets, which is that really pretty um, orange shade right here. First color I'm gonna take is that Sunset color, which is that really pretty orange. So we're gonna go ahead and take this brush. This is from the Walmart Equate line, and it's just a brush that looks like this. It's double-ended, crease brush, and flat liner brush. You can find this at your local Walmart. And we're gonna use the blending brush. I'm gonna tap the very top, or I guess not the very top, like the pointy part of it, onto the shadow itself. And then I might lay it like this to coat the, coat the hairs in there. We're gonna tap. So I kind of like moved my head a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing as I'm doing this eye. And we're just gonna take the brush, put it right there. I'm gonna put it in the middle. I'm gonna put it at the very edge. Put it right in the middle of those two points. So in I put it in the middle of these two points. So the middle of my eye is right here and the very outer corner is right here. So I put it kind of in the middle because that's where I want the most intensity to go. Windshield wiper motions, right? That's what we always hear um, in terms of blending. We're gonna do that. We're gonna see that color come to life. And um, I'm just going back in with that same color and you can definitely have your kind of own flow to this, but I am aware of what I want it to look like. So I'm just going back in and I'll go back and forth. If I feel like I need to take it higher, then I will. See me doing that gradually where I'll just go a little bit 
color, but always making sure that this point right here is what I really want to be saturated. And then with this exact same brush, not switching brushes, I'm pulling a tinage. I'm using the same brush. And we're gonna go with the same technique. Just gonna put the tip on there. Tap off that excess. The reason you tap off the excess is because sometimes if you don't do it, as soon as you apply it, all that product that we just saw that we tapped off, that gets tapped off on your face. You'll go on there and you didn't tap it off and then you'll realize it falls. Just like your hopes and dreams, it'll just fall down and then you're like, well, looks like I'm doing my concealer foundation again. We don't want that, so we tap off the excess. And I'm just going in, like I said, this is where I want the most intensity, so that's where my brush is going to lay first. And as I get more comfortable, I'll kind of start to bring it in slightly. I just kind of strengthens it up just ever so slightly. I think this color is pretty good to take right above it as well. Now we're gonna start going in with that um, color Summertime, which is that really beautiful, uh, it's almost like a red toned brown, which I really like. I like more warm colors as opposed to cool colors in my eyeshadow looks, especially for the one today. So now I'm gonna take just a little bit more densely packed brush, and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. This is the e.l.f. Blending Eye Brush. It looks just like this. It has been through some things, okay? Just like me and my history on this on this world. This next color I'm gonna take is a lot darker than the other two, and I really wanna make sure that that is showcased when I lay down the brush. I'm just gonna poke it in there and tap off our excess. A little bit on our hand, and go in. Now this one, I'm actually putting it, if you saw that, on the outer part of my eye. And again, going back for some more and then I will kind of drag it up towards that crease color that I initially put down. Really short strokes or windshield wiper motion. People actually call this creating like that outer V, if you've ever heard that term on YouTube. So it just depends the level of smokiness that I guess we want to get from this, but I'm just going to take it probably like right towards the middle. But I'm diffusing it as I do it. I use Holiday, it's that really pretty black. It's a beautiful matte black and that's what I'm going for. I want matte, I want no shine, I want no sparkle, I want none of that. I want it to be matte. Got it? Good. <laughs> but before we get into that, I'm gonna actually use this new product that I found, which is the Rimmel London Ultimate Waterproof Pole Liner, which Tanaj had to show me how to use this because I had absolutely no idea. And it has a beautiful application, like so buttery. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and place that on the outer edge of the eye. Sometimes I do have to hold my eyes a little bit. Not pulling, just holding. Nobody come for me. And I'm just gonna put it near my lash line, flick it upwards a little bit. And what I really like about this is that it looks normal like a liner. Tell y'all, once we blend that out, it ain't gonna be a liner no more. Well, yes it is. <laughs> it's just gonna be a little bit more like smoldering look. Oh, so I found the other Equate brush. Hello. It's gonna be this one and this is Brow Lash on it. So one side has the spoolie and the other side has the liner. So we can go ahead and go in here, back and forth motions to get that uh, cool liner to kind of diffuse into the lash line. See how pretty that looks? Now I didn't do too much um, just cause you know, I'm just not that dramatic. Not on this part anyways. Um, and I am starting out to use this, but I really, really love the way that this kind of gives that. I have eyeliner on, but I'm not trying to be too strict about it. If you have a co-liner that you see at the stores, I would recommend picking one up. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and use the lightest color on here, which is Paradise. And it's really pretty. It has more like a yellow tint to it, which is fine. I have no problem with that. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my new Morphe brushes. <laughs> <laughs> which I've been asking for forever and I finally had the opportunity to use it. So I'm using my M330 Morphe brush that looks like this. I had to sing that last part, y'all, because I'm really excited. And my producer and Tanaj have been like nonstop me ask for these brushes. So the fact that I have them now, oh yeah, I think of all that. Look at me. Got it. We're gonna use that color and we're gonna place it right here on the brow bone. And this is wonderful to create like a highlight, but not a highlight that you're gonna be like, ooh, girl, it's on fleek. But it's just enough and it's matte, which I really, really love. And that same color I'm actually gonna go in with, and um, it's called the Shader Brush, but it's just an eyelid brush. I'm gonna use this one that I bought from Walmart as well, but it's not the Walmart line. This is the Moda, Muda. Anyways, it looks like this. You can pick it up at your local Walmart. It. And it's just really densely packed, which is what I want. 
for this color. I'm gonna take that same color that we put in our brow bone, which is Paradise. Tap, tap, tap. Tap off excess. And we're just gonna go in right here. Actual eyelid. What I'm gonna do is just gonna put on some lashes and I'll probably do like, of course, my lower lash line will have some mascara on there too, but that's pretty much it. And then we'll do the eyebrow, but I don't wanna snap into that just yet because I still have to do the rest of my face. So before I go into that, I'm going to show you what blush I'm going to use. I'm going to take a part blush, which is in a part. It's not even a party, y'all. It's party. Here's what they want me to say. And it's the Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush, which looks just like this. I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk blush brush. I don't know if it is a blush brush, but I'm going to use it as a blush brush because it has that shape. I like to go ahead and coat all areas of the brush, you know. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Tap off the excess with blush as well. I put it right here in the middle, and then I will hit it towards my hairline. And the reason I do that is because when I go in with my bronzer, that's also where I hit it. Really good tip to kind of tie in your blush to the rest of your face. You can actually put it on your chin, part of your nose. You can hit it up here in the temple area. But now that we're done with the blush, we're gonna go in with bronzer. Now, Tanaj and I actually really love this bronzer. And we use the exact same shade, which is weird because if you know us in our channel, that doesn't really happen. We have completely different skin tones, different undertones, different problem areas. Uh, so this is going to be the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in Fifty Bronzer. Now again, I'm going to take my really cool Equate Powder Brush, which I found on sale at Walmart. This brush, you guys, feels freaking amazing. It is like a baby's bottom, okay? Yeah, I don't know that's a weird description, but that's the only thing that comes to mind. Again, I'm just gonna try to coat as many of those hairs on there. This little cap I tend to use as like the, I guess my way of tapping it off, I don't know. And then again, just gonna put it right here, this area of my face, and then whatever is left, I'll put it on the rest of my face, which right now seems really weird because I'm only doing half of my face. But that's okay. For my lips, I like to prime them as well, so I'm just using some lip balm. It's nothing special, it's just something that I got from my orthodontics. Shout out to my orthodontist. And I'm gonna go in with the Victoria's Secret liquid color. I got this back when the Victoria's Secret was popping. All right, and I'm just gonna put this on here. This is a liquid lipstick, so it's gonna have some long lasting abilities. So we're finally done, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and snap into the finished look and see what you guys think once I have lashes and it comes together, hopefully. All right, here we go. One, two, three. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Clearly, I did not put on false eyelashes. I got in trouble because apparently you're not supposed to do that for a soft glam look, so. I just have my regular lashes and I curled and then I maskered. Maskered. That's a new verb that I made up. Also, I put on, this is new for me, I put on new pencil eyeliner on my waterline. So, nothing crazy. Um, hopefully, this is y'all's type of soft glam look. And if not, you'll have two different options between me and Tanaj. So, I hope you liked today's video. I know I did. Hopefully I made somebody smile and laugh out there because that's what it's all about. And like always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, what are you doing? Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Rural Meal family. Make sure you also follow us on all of our social media platforms. I think out of all of them, Tanaj and I tend to be uh, more commonly found on Instagram. And our Instagram name is at Rural Meal. So it's R-U-M-O-R-M-E-A-L. We also have our lookbook that is finally out. We have been saying that for like ever. So if you've had a chance to check it out, go ahead and visit that. That is going to be it's rumeal.com and you'll be seeing a lot more postings on there as well. But like always, thank you for hanging on to this video. If you liked it, like always, let us know your thoughts down there in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!